Hello everybody, I am um, posting this video to give you instructions for the final exam. Um, I have posted a review sheet with all the, the terms and images you need to know. Um, I have also posted this um, slideshow so that you don't have to go through the textbook and find them all yourself. You can just use this as your guide as you go through the list and start studying. Um, about the exam, I will open it on Thursday. You will have uh, 65 minutes to complete the exam and you actually have all the way until Monday night to take the exam. Um, but do not wait until 11 o'clock Monday night just in case something uh, goes wrong. Um, the test will be 25 multiple choice. Um, 20 of which you have already seen on past exams. So um, they should be familiar to you. Um, there will be five newer ones for the new chapter, chapter 14. Um, I have posted the two longer questions, the, the essay questions, which are worth 15 points each. So um, you should go ahead and write those. Re you may use your book for those and research. Um, just use your own words. You don't need to make citations or whatever. Um, and I'll go over those in a second. Um, uh, and you should be ready to either cut and paste them or upload them um, onto the uh, exam. So that you should be doing ahead. You will not have time to write two essays in the 65 minutes. This is so you can... Um, you know, ensure yourself of using the right information and getting as many points as possible. Um, there's going to be uh, 15 matching. So you'll match, like we do, an image to a term or a title. Um, there will be sh three short answers. Um, and these will be very similar to the review sheets that you've already had. So, um, you should probably look over those to make sure that you uh, understand what, what you wrote. Um, there'll be two comparisons and the, those will be guided comparisons. I'll give you two images that you will um, be asked a question as we've done on, on other exams. So there'll be two different sets of those. And then there will be three attributions where I will give you an image that you do not know and you will um, say where you think it's from, what time period, and what it looks like from that time period that makes you guess that. Um, again, you'll be given 65 minutes, which is longer than our other exams, to complete the exam. Any cheating will result in a zero. And this means, and I'm going to clarify this one more time because some of you are still doing this and have lost points. I do not want you to be looking up any information during the exam, including exact dates. When you use an exact date, you lose points. The only thing I need you to know are the time periods, such as Egyptian or prehistoric, not 40,000 BCE or 1120 AD. I do not want exact dates. That says to me that you are looking it up. Nobody has asked you to memorize dates. I don't expect you to. Um, so I don't need you to look them up while you're taking the exam, please. Again, you will lose points. You'll get a zero if I, I feel like you are looking it up. You should definitely not be cutting and pasting any information from anywhere other than your mind. That is called cheating. So if it's not your own work, you will get a zero. And this is your final exam. So I'm recommending not doing that. All right. Um, so these slides go through chronologically everything on the list that you need. And they are broken up into time periods um, for you. And I have left in some important information, but you have the slide sheet as well. So when you get to Walker Vase, it says registers next to it. So you should be able to associate those things together. So these are the only images that you need. Nothing else is asked on the exam with the exception of your um, your essay question, you can bring in other things if you'd like, but you're welcome to just use the list. You could very well answer the essay questions with just 
the list. So let me just go through this and then I will um, get to the, um, whoops, didn't know that it was doing that. All right, let's get to your um, essay questions. All right, so your essay questions. Um, the first one is, uh, you have been asked to curate a show for the Louvre. They would like you to organize an exhibit called Art and Influence. You must choose three works of art we've covered in this course to show how art often happens in a linear fashion, meaning one thing leads to another. You may choose any and all types of art. It could be architecture, it could be sculpture, it could be painting. Uh, they do not all have to be related to one another, but they must relate to other things in the course. So you're not making a list of three works that lead one to another. You're making a list of three separate works that are each influential in their own way. Um, I'm not going to use any examples from your part of the course because this, you know, some of you might want to be using those. Um, for instance, if you, have, you were studying the Renaissance, I would say um, Michelangelo's David, the sculpture, is the most important because there are three other Davids that relate directly to it, and there are five different sculptors to look at that have based their work on his, etc. All right, so um, I, I wouldn't choose a whole bunch of the same artists. I would just choose um, you know, Michelangelo's one, and then I would go on to another thing. Um, you have some big works, like some things that, you know, um, people keep looking back at and, and using the things that are in uh, that work of art or something similar to that work of art. So you can list each work of art in importance, in, in order of importance, like of your three, which one's the most influential, and then um, you would do number two and number um, three. All right, uh, the second essay is the depiction of women. This is similar to, um, you had an essay or a, a review topic that asks you to um, look at the evolution of sculpture. In this case, I'm just looking uh, at the depiction of women and they do not have to be sculpt um, sculptures. So you're gonna choose four different images of women from different time periods to show the various ways women have been depicted. These should be different time periods. So um, it's it's easier on you if you choose different roles that they seem to be playing in, in the work of art. Um, we haven't seen a lot of women, um, and when they are shown, they seem to be um, sort of supporting actresses for um, other events. So um, you might want to look into that. You should identify your choices and explain what their role is in the works you have chosen. Uh, these you do not have to rank, like who's number the number one woman. Um, you're just um, answering the question of uh, four with different roles, like how, how have women been um, shown in art history so far? All right, so those are your essay questions that you should get ready. Um, you can use your book for that. I do not expect this to be research essays. These are more like longer answers, not um, not uh, you know uh, research topics, but you can use your book to look at the information um, or to get inspiration for these two questions. The rest of the test should be on your own, your own work after studying the slideshow and the review sheet. You should be good to go. Um, this test is not meant to you know, trick you. It's only meant to assess all of the things that you've covered in the class. All right, as always, please email me if you have any questions or have any uh, troubles. Um, again, I'm asking you, do not wait till the very last minute. I know it seems like it, it's so much easier to, to wait till Monday to do it, but if, um, you know, some, some of you may be running out of time when you do that. So uh, please plan ahead. All right. Thank you.